Hello, this is David DeShane from the Roofing Estimator Pro web-based software program. I'm going to go sh through and show you exactly how to install the Roofing Estimator Pro QuickBooks integrator. This is a desktop application that links directly to our Amazon server and will all connect your QuickBooks and the Roofing Estimator Pro together. Now first of all, if you've installed the previous version of our existing uh, client version of the, the QuickBooks integrator, you will need to uninstall that. And if you have not installed any of this, you have nothing to worry about. But first, let me go through and show you how to take out the old program. Uh, the programs that are installed, it'll either be the QB QuickBooks connector or the client version, which it's, uh, it's a Roofing Estimator Pro QuickBooks client connector. So we're going to uninstall that. It's going to ask for permissions. This new program has been designed. We basically reverse engineered that so there's no firewall issues at all. Um, like in the, the first version, people have so many different firewalls. It was connecting all these together. So this, this eliminates that problem whatsoever. Now, first of all, you need to log into your software uh, once that has been removed. And log in. Go ahead and use your username and password and get into the system. Now there's two different ways to get the uh, the new QuickBooks integrated program. Everything up here is on your help button. Uh, go right across. You've got your company set up, your customers reporting, and then the help. We've got the QuickBooks integrator support right here, integration support. So click on that. This brings you directly to this page where you have uh, the training video how to install it, but also the download the software. So we're going to go ahead and download the new software program. It's about I think it's just a, under a meg. It, it isn't in that big. And once it loads up in your downloads, go ahead and double click on the on the file. You'll get a box that will open. And it'll be the QuickBooks setup and configuration. So let's click on that and hit the run button. Once again, just click on the top setup and hit run. It'll come up. Uh, the wizard will go through and set up the program. This will set up this right on your desktop. Make sure that's checked to everyone. And whether you're using any version of Windows, this will work. It'll take a second to go through. It'll ask some permissions. But this software links directly to a program we have on the server. So it works. It's secure. It, it's a great way to connect QuickBooks. It'll go through, set it up. It only takes a couple of seconds. Uh, it's through the uh, NT framework. And the installation's complete. Let's close these boxes in the download box. Now, we're going to go right to your desktop. And you're going to see that the integrator has a little like couple of computers connected so we're gonna go ahead and double click on that and you're gonna see it come up and this is what the integration looks like it's a link you don't have to change anything the only thing you will need to change is the the name of your address on your on your roofing estimator pro web based software so let's uh... let's go ahead and change that mine on this one here is demo You know, whatever your client version was, make sure there's no spaces in there. You should have got your email. Uh, whatever link it was to your website, that's the, the address you want to put in here. That's your domain name is what it's called, it's subdomain. So let's go ahead and open that back up and get right to the main page. If you open that up, you will have to open that up one more time. And let's go to the setup configuration. And this is your QuickBooks integrator. Now, what we're going to do is get both of these linked up together at the same time. So what I'm going to do is downsize these so they're about the same size so you can see both of them. Okay, at that point, we need to connect. And what we have to have is the username and password the same. If you look right up here, this is what I was talking about with your, um, your domain name. So the REP domain that you got emailed to you when you got your program. And that needs to be the same here. Now the the hosting and the ports are already configured. You don't have to change any of that stuff. And the only thing you will have to do is open up your QuickBooks at this point. So I did open up QuickBooks. And let me just, no, nope, I guess I did not. So let me open that up. You need to have the QuickBooks running to make this work. Uh, it's the only way the program, of course, needs to link to QuickBooks. So we'll go ahead and open that up. It'll take a couple of seconds. And the integration with this is seamless. It The first setup may take a second for everything to come up, but once everything comes up and it's all up and running, there's never an issue. It, it really runs smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and let that load up. This is a much better. See the old firewalls, everybody had different firewalls and to connect to all that it was it was complicated. 
I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. Once you get connected, we'll go ahead and let that come up. My screen capture software slows things down just a little bit. But once that's all set up, it's going to get connected. And the first thing you're going to want to do, there's going to be some permissions that need to be, you got to be looking for a permission box. Let's start with starting the connector. So you'll get the little message down below here. And one of the biggest things you want to do is put the username and password. Let's, let's stop this. I'm getting a little ahead of myself again. So let's go ahead and put your username and password up here first. And this needs to be the same as your QuickBooks connector. So whatever you have for a username and password, this is the user and password. You want to go over here and put the username and the password the same. So whatever two passwords, you want to make sure those are identical. On this one here, you're going to have to hit the save first. So let's save that and go back into the QuickBooks integrator. And now that it's back it's saved, you want to make sure that, that those two are the same. The windows bouncing all over the place here. Okay, at that point, again, you want to start this. And at that point, you've, you're started up. QuickBooks is up and running. Now let's do a test. Let's make sure that we're quick connected to QuickBooks. QuickBooks will require some permissions, and I'll show you what that is. When you hit the test button, company information will arrive, and you're going to want to request to uh, to get the company information just to verify that everything is up and running. Uh, and we'll go ahead and do that by clicking on Get Company Information. A little box will open up and ask for security. So let's click Yes whenever this opens. Hit Continue. That's your permissions. Demo Roofing Estimator Pro to QuickBooks. And once again, it's going to ask for the digital certificate which you want to let that go through. We'll say yes, it's it's all set, and you'll get the confirmation done. Um, access is confirmed, and you'll see that the system will automatically update. You'll get the red letters inside, let you know the QuickBooks is connected. At that point, you know that you're connected to QuickBooks. Let's close that box. Now let's connect to the server. This is where you're going to go connect on to the Amazon server. Click Connect, and you'll get confirmation, login successful and let's connect to your QuickBooks. Hit the connect button on your application. You'll see a series of information that will go through. Everything is connected. You'll see your company information is all there, so we'll click OK. And at this point you can bring in your information from clients and products and you can do this in different size batches. Uh, we broke this down because there was a delay for thousands and thousands. What I like to do is 500. If you do 500 at a time, it'll go through, grab 500, bring the other 500, and so forth. Um, let's like go add items. Now, there might be some products already in the system, but I'm going to go ahead and add products and batch them in. And you're going to see how this comes right in. The system will go ahead and upload the file. You'll see the status bar that will tell you the percentage of the products loaded. And once that's done, that's how fast the 250 went in. So products went through. It may delay but it'll keep bringing the products in. And if you look at the file, you'll see that all those products were brought in automatically. So I only had a batch of 164. Now customers, I have a large batch of customers. So let's bring in, you know, 500 at a time, and I'm going to add these customers. Now, now if you have customers previously in there, it will not rewrite the old customers. It will synchronize everything. And let's go ahead and add customers. Now you're going to see how this will batch through and there's there's a lot of customers. I think there's several thousand in here right now. It's going to batch through 500. I'll let that go through. There's like 3,300 and you're going to see 500 batch. Little delay, stop, it'll process the data and then it will come back and do that. It'll go pretty quick. I mean, and if you want to jump it right to thousands, while it's in progress, I've done this and it actually works, but it only takes maybe two minutes max to bring in a thousand at the most it'll go through it will keep pumping the data right through there's no delay the best thing to do is just leave everything alone the status bar will go through this 29 percent has already gone through in a matter of I don't know I've been talking for maybe a minute or two but you'll see how quick all of the information gets pumped through just let the system work uh, there's no timeout sockets or anything nothing's gonna stop you know, it might take a couple of minutes, but once that's synchronized, it's not going to rewrite the old data. So once it's in there, 
it's in there for good. And any of your new customers that come in and bring things over, it's going to be a simple process of just synchronizing the data. It goes through and does it automatically. Now, this program is very uh, has a lot of security built in throughout the back end of the Amazon server. So that you know, Amazon's one of the most powerful servers on the internet and does billions of transactions a day. So you can only imagine the backups that are being created. So all your files will go through QuickBooks. There's no one's going to hack into your system. This is very, um, it's very high quality writing of the code. Uh, the, the software engineer did a great job. And you can see all this information, the status bar, and, I, and it's only been less than two minutes. And I'm bringing over thousands of customers. So this is a small data file compared to maybe some bigger companies. But just let the system work initially and you'll have no problem whatsoever. And that's been in lapse under two minutes. The system keeps pumping in the data. It's a great, great program. Um, you know, if you guys need anything else, there's, there's tech support's always there for you guys. The help desk, the best place to go is onto the uh, the QuickBooks help desk. Um, I mean, the Roofing Estimator Pro web base help desk. And there's a lot of information on there. You've got good training videos to walk you through all aspects of the program you know we really appreciate your business and uh, if you need any help you know doing this just keep referring you can add it put a ticket in and, and get information and uh, you know we'll always we'll always be on the back end watching everything so the client data is still pumping through um, it's less than three minutes with 89 percent upload and you know it does it does go right through and just keeps putting the stuff in and there goes the final the final few hundred that have been connected. So it's under three minutes and it brought over, uh, you know, over 3,000 customers. So, you know, three minutes for 3,000 customers, that's a lot easier. Can you imagine trying to hand type that data in? But once that's in, it won't require that much time. They're usually pretty quick. But I just wanted to show you a real time data so you can see several thousand customers brought over. And, and the system now is, is wrapping up. It looks like it brought over the last couple it looks like there's another seven customers coming in um, so we're looking at three and a half minutes for all of those 3,379 customers coming in and it should be wrapping up its last batch right now like I said you can click this down to thousands or even you know at that time look at that 3,379 customers brought over um, zero customers were added, you know, no other extra customers were added. Anyway, this is David DeShane. Hopefully this has helped you with your QuickBooks integration. If you have any questions, go ahead and refer it to the help desk. And we'll be glad to help you with the QuickBooks. And thank you for purchasing Roofing Estimator Pro web-based.